So I've had a few questions about not understanding what um, the default shells are and how they work. So I wanted to make a quick video that might, might help address some of those questions. So the first thing I want to show you is what an empty blank shell looks like. So this is for spring 2020. I'm going to look at my night class and this is what um, Wake Tech ID, excuse me, Wake Tech IT sets up for us every semester and it's considered a blank shell. There is no image. Um, there's the default epic aligned navigation bar over to the left and particularly I want to show you what the grade book looks like. So if we go down into the full grade center, there's a default one with this fake student and the only columns that are really there are a weighted total and a total column. This is important because they're going to be there when uh, the course shell is copied into here and we can get rid of them later. So this is what blank looks like. There's absolutely nothing in lessons. The only thing that's populated in terms of content is the student support area. So I'm going to pause right now and then I'm going to show you what it looks like after I copy my shell into it. Okay, so here's what it looks like after my course is copied and you know, I get a notification that it was complete. We can go on and close that. Uh, now I've got an announcement. If we go in the getting started section, there's a syllabus, a link to student support, which sometimes doesn't work. So if I want to recreate it, I'm going to go into build content course link. Browse and scroll down to student support and give that a course link. And so I can get rid of the old one. That little window here is probably because it doesn't work. So yeah, broken course link. Delete. One thing I want to show you is um, the syllabus is in a couple of different places. So it's in getting started. It's also here in the course resources. This is actually the same file. And so if you want to ensure that you've got the right file, I recommend you go into con content collection and you can go into the course content collection. And then the syllabus right here, you can choose overwrite file and it will overwrite it. And then the link is in the right place and you just click browse your computer and upload. Yeah. So you can also do it if in um, the course resources area through this link attached files and click overwrite file and it should overwrite it in both places. But that's better than uploading two individual copies because then they might not work right. Here's another internal link. So I'm going to click on it to make sure it works. It does because every now and then they don't. All the other links I think are still active. This collaboration, I'm not going to need it for my night course. So I'm going to just delete it. If you want to hide it, that's fine too. But um, I can always recreate it if I need to. Of course, if it's an online course, you don't want to do that. The other thing you want to check is that the student support didn't get double entries. Um, IT should, when they copied over the course, should have unselected that. But yeah, if you only have one link to e-learning video transcripts, then we're good at the bottom. This is kind of where it restarts. If there are duplicates, you need to go in and each one select it and delete it. Um, okay, so what I wanted to show you about the grade book. So if we go into the full grade center now, there's a lot more information, still only one student, but there's all these extra columns for the default that were in the course shell. And students get confused because there's now weighted total, total, and course grade. Course grade is the one that's averaging the correct columns over here. So the two-step process to make it clearer to everybody is first you need to get rid of this green check mark. That green check mark means that it is the external grade, which doesn't mean anything except for the fact that you can't delete a column if it's set as eternal grade. So we're going to set the course grade as the external grade. And now I can go in and delete those two one. Um, default things that were there and don't mean anything. So if I press delete column, now it should work just fine. And if we go into my grades, you can see what the students are going to see and they see the course grade now at the top and it's just a lot clearer for everybody. So hope this was useful. And if you have any questions, please let me know.